you know what's helpful? These are helpful. Chapter markers, timestamps, whatever you want to call them here in YouTube so you can click around and go straight to the part you want to watch on your video. At the start, all you're going to see is just the list of videos that YouTube's recommending. But if you click down here, boom, it replaces that with your chapters. I found that I was editing everything and making the chapter markers anyway. So rather than doubling up on my work and making them again manually in YouTube, this is a nice little copy and paste cheat that I use to make sure my descriptions are clean, concise, and accurate. So here is our YouTube timestamps Google Sheet. This is what you end up getting out of the Google Sheet, these nice little chapter time markers. Come check it out. As you see here, I have created markers inside the video for each of the sections that I go through. This is a, you know, moderately lengthy video, 10, 15 minutes, I think. And it was important to break this up into chunks so that people could access the different sections as they needed it. In order to create the markers, if you've never done this before, you just say you want to start one over here, like at the two minute mark, you cannot have a clip selected. If you do, you'll notice over here that the markers went away. Instead, click anywhere else in your timeline down here and then press the M button and boom, a marker pops up. You can name it new marker right here. That's how you create markers. Once you get to the end of your video, you're ready to export it. All the markers are in the right place. Do that same little trick. Don't have a clip selected. Select somewhere, click in the um, timeline. Make sure your markers are pulled up. Come up here and go File, Export Markers. How about that? This is going to save those markers in a CSV file. Now here we have our CSV file. As you can see in Excel, it's just a comma separated value file. It's going to have all our info, our marker name, description, in and out time, duration, and marker type. And in fact, all we really need is one of those timestamps, the end time, and then the marker name. But you can just go ahead and pull all this, copy all this. I've got enough space in the Google Sheet, so if you copy it all, that's totally fine. So right here in the G column, this is a formula that's taking the end time for each of our markers, and it's uh, bringing over the hours, the minutes, and the seconds and not the milliseconds. Then right here in the red column that you copy and paste into YouTube proper, it's grabbing the marker name and the timestamp and it's putting a little dash in between it so that it shows up nice and pretty. All you gotta do is click and drag, copy and paste all of that right in here. I hope this is helpful for you. Again, the link for that Google Sheet is in the description below. Have a great one. You're awesome.